The Zinc Star, I think this is. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Damn it! Oh well. What will that do? Five damage? Six damage? Five damage! I need to do another shell shield, but I can't. And I won't. Because I could also just, uh... Damn it. Alright, hold on. Let's do shell toss. Get some stylish points. Ooh! Shine Sprite! Yes! Look at that. Jackpot, bingo, maximum crowd. Oh, he's dead! Damn it! The freaking stage, I swear, is like the biggest enemy sometimes. Good. Don't have to pay ten coins to this jerk anymore. Yes, I do. It solved this problem pretty well. Alright, what do we got here? We've got... a secret room that's blocked with a key. And we've got... this is the Trouble Center, right? Yep, the Trouble Center! Uh, sure, go ahead and explain it to us. This Trouble Center is where people come with troubles, and that's why it's named that. Do you want to see what kind of troubles people have? Then check the bulletin board! Blah blah blah, they're basically side quests. That's it. Some of them will give you coins, some of them will give you star pieces, some of them will give you badges... But, I mean... We'll worry about that later. Much, much later. What do we got through here? It's locked from the inside. Oh well. Hey, I can turn sideways, which means I can go through here. And what's on the other side? A panel that I can't access yet. And what's your problem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Hey, who's the snail guy? Oh, come on, man. Fuck off. He's got nothing for me right now. Oh, well. We'll come back to him later. I can't jump on these boxes. Oh, star piece. Uh, I can't get up there. Damn it. Anyway, we'll do some uh, side quests later, because right now I don't really need anything that they have to offer. Let's go back into the freaking sewer and activate the next star map location so that we can get a little bit of progress going on in this let's play don't have to go through that thing anymore I can just access the tube from here hey I also don't have to walk all the way down here anymore I can just slip through the bars I can slip through any bars now this is amazing I can slip through this bar there's nothing here I can do it! Same thing with this one, and there is a door here. Oh, damn. I think we had a very similar room in Tubba Blubba's castle in Paper Mario 64. Can turning sideways help me? No, it cannot! I will need the power of invisibility. What's through here again? I forgot. It is a big switch that I cannot hit. All right. Oh, I can go through here now, too. What do we got? A big lot of nothing. Hey, there is a badge up there. I think that's a Defense Plus badge. Nothing here. There's nothing here. Fine. Worry about that later. We never even fought one of these spinny green things before. And I'm not going to right now. Because I don't have to.
All right. Hey, we can slip through the bars. Finally see what's over here. It's an airplane panel. Damn it. There. Let's see if I can get across this entire room. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Check that shit out. Another shine sprite. And another airplane panel if I want to get back. What's on the other side, though? Ooh, it's the pit of a hundred trials. Do not enter the pit of a hundred trials. First attack and bump attack badges don't work, so beware! Damn. Deepest level reached zero. Record power bounces, zero. Star pieces found, 11 out of a hundred. Alright, don't know why that tells me where the star pieces are. But, that is the pit of a hundred trials. We'll be doing that, eventually, not now. I don't know if that is something I'm going to do post end game or before the end of the game, I'm not sure. But we are definitely going to do the pit of a hundred trials eventually. Maybe when I have more partners that can be helpful in battle. We might actually have to do it twice because we might have to go to a certain depth to get an item and then leave and then come back later with that item. Where are we going? The White Forest, I guess. Oh, it's the Emerald! Star. Green one. Alright. Where the hell are we going? It's called a tree. And when you get a bunch of those trees together, it's called a forest. How do you know about Professor Frankly? Who the hell are you, Koopa? Koopa Coops. Where are we going? It's in Boggly Woods! The second crystal star is inside a great tree there. The great tree in Boggly Woods, huh? Whoa, what the hell are those? Alright, again, a pipe underground that leads to a new area. I got an email from her. She's being kidnapped by people. Oh no! Crystal stars and that map. All we gotta do is go to the woods and get the crystal star. Simple enough, right? If you're low on items and health, drop by the shop and in first. I'll keep researching the stars and ancient treasure, blah blah blah. There's something in your trash can. A scrap of paper about Gus. Oh, yeah, that's right, I didn't tattle on Gus. If you fight an enemy that you can only fight once and you do not tattle him, the tattle information will show up in Frankly's trash can. So you don't have to worry about getting the entire tattle log, which speaking of which, we should be able to access from the journal. Yep, tattle log. Look at all these things I fought. The troopers. Red Bones was a boss, I think. There's Gus. Gold Fuzzy was a boss as well. Where's Hooktail? There he is. Yep, right after this, this is where all the bosses start, so you can see how many bosses we'll have to fight. Look at all these freaking bosses, starting with Bloober. We got all the way down to 124. It's crazy. Some of them are optional, but there are a lot of them. We also have the collection of badges encyclopedia here, where we can find out how many badges we have. Stars, the diamond star. We got the diamond one first. Diamonds are pretty damn valuable. 
And yep, we started here, went up there, there we go. Now we gotta go here to get this Emerald Star. Badges! I need to level up again to get more badge points. I also should check on the shop and see if I can't purchase that contact lens so we can access the chef. I'm gonna see if I can access the chef and then, hey! Your contact lens? It's not mine, alright? I don't need a freaking contact lens. There it is. How much? Ten! Ten coins? God, the price of medicine these days. Or the price of corrective lenses. Hey, I got your stupid contact lens. Now let me through to the other side of the city. You don't look very happy. Fine, whatever, I'm sorry. I'm Mario! My freaking specialty is jumping on stuff. I couldn't help it. Ugh. What's going on here? We don't, we'll explore this half of the city later. For now, I'd like to access the chef so that we can cook up some stuff. I love the cooking aspects in these Paper Mario games. Sir Stomp a lot. My name is Zesty. Yes! What was the name of the chef in the first Paper Mario? Tasty? I do. How about you cook me up a classic mushroom fry? <laughs> Shroom fry! Hell yeah! Classic. Now, Tasty from Paper Mario 64 was very lovable, very friendly. Her husband was dead, and she was an all-around nice person. Taste Zesty here is pretty damn serious, and she hates me because I crushed her contact lens. So for the rest of the game, she's going to hold a little bit of resentment towards me. But she is a chef, just like Tasty, and she will cook us up some very powerful healing items. So she's an invaluable resource to my adventure. Woo! Koopa tea! Can I cook anything else? I can make another Koopa tea. Or I can see what I get from cooking this honey syrup. It might be a soda, just like last time. Or a tasty tonic. Can't remember. Honey syrups heal 5 FP, so if it becomes anything that heals more, it'll be A-OK. -okay. Fresh juice! So it's not soda, it's juice. And it heals FP and cures poison, so that's okay by me. We're out of here. What else could we possibly do? Uh, have you, are you selling anything different? Double pain. Doubles the damage Mario takes. Why the hell would I want that badge ever? Hey, a dried shroom. I could take that and cook it. I could also get an earthquake. Which is kind of like a POW block, but it's better. I think I'll actually purchase that. No, I'm good. I purchased your earthquake, leave me alone. It's on the back of these billboards. The heart stealing thief, alright. What's at the front of the boards? Hooktail of Petalburg Meadows has been... Petalburg Meadows, holy shit, did I just make a Pokemon reference? Defeated by Brave Hero must have been a tough fight. Petalburg Meadows. Where the uh, turtle Pokemon, what was it, Squirtle? Yeah, where the Squirtles roam free in their little village. And then Charizard is terrorizing them in his castle. Alright, I think we're going to save here. Call it quits for now. Next time on Paper Mario, we'll head to Boggly Woods and get the uh, second crystal star, possibly. Hey, uh, don't forget, I need suggestions for what to name my fourth party member when I get to Chapter 3. Put those suggestions in the comments, please. And uh, maybe I'll name it something dumb when I finally get there. Anyway, till then, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Goodbye.